Hello, I am Katie Bagley, children's author and nature writer. And I am very thankful to the House of Books and Tales for inviting me to this interview so that I can reach out to all of you lovely children. Would you like to know a funny incident in my life? Well, when I was as young as you, I wanted to put my dad into a good mood, so I offered to massage his head and he was very happy. He sat on his chair and waited and I opened the cabinet, took out the bottle of hair oil and poured it on his head and began massaging vigorously. But to my amazement, a mountain of foam was formed on his head and started trickling on down his face and he was vivid with anger and roaring away. My mother rushed to the scene and she realized what my goof up was. I had taken out the bottle of hair shampoo instead of hair oil. Both bottles looked identical. I first decided to become an author about eight to nine years ago. That means although I am old in years, I am young as an author. And I am happy to tell you that in the, these few years, eight to nine years, I have written 25 books and I don't intend stopping at all. I want to write many more to reach out to all of you wonderful kids. A book written about me? I just can't imagine it. But well, if it has to be so, perhaps the title could be Child of Nature. Since I am so passionate about nature, I write about nature, I dream about nature. When I was young, my favorite storyteller was my mother. But she would only be reading all the Zoroastrian scriptures to me because she wanted me to be enlightened about our Zoroastrian religion. Other than that, there was no other storyteller and the authors of the books which I used to read were my storytellers. I would love to wear the shoes of my favorite character Gerald Durrell. He was someone after my own heart. And especially in his book, My Family and Other Animals, where his entire family shifts to an island called Corfu in Greece. And Gerald is a naturalist. Even as a boy at 10 years of age, he used to collect a lot of creepy crawlies and lizards and all kinds of creatures which he found on the island, put them in little boxes in his room. But very often these creepy crawlies would escape from the containers and would find their way into his siblings' rooms. And of course there would be a lot of bedlam and uh, brouhaha in the house after that. It was all very hilarious. I just loved that story. to write I find it very fulfilling but other than that there are other activities too which I thoroughly enjoy one of them is going on nature trails conducting nature trails and looking at that expression of wonder on a child's face when you explore and discover something new and I love to go out in the wild I love to illustrate my own books too
often ask me where do you get your ideas from when you write story books where do you get inspiration from i would say that inspiration comes from everywhere from outside your window when you watch that crow feeding the big coil chick maybe in its nest or of course you get a lot of inspiration when out in the field when i'm doing nature trails turning every stone to see if there's something in underneath looking inside leaf litter or turning over leaves you get inspiration while traveling when there's a change of scene change of environment different kinds of people lots and lots of ideas you just have to look around listen and there you are I can't really say that there was any one particular story book as my favorite. I had lots and lots of favorite story books. Uh, initially, it used to be Enid Blyton books. I just adored them and just gobbled them up one after another. All the famous spy series and the adventure series and the mystery series. And later on, it was Gerald Darrell, the naturalist. His books. I read each and every one of them. So there were lots and lots of my favorite story books. Books certainly are my best friends, and a library. Wow, that's a temple of the mind. It makes one travel throughout the world by reading books on travels. or it can allow your imagination to go berserk reading about fantasy books there are all genres of book in a library you can spend hours and hours in this wonderful temple of words my message to my young readers i would like them to realize how wonderful our planet is pulsating with all kinds of life quirky bizarre mind blowing kind of life i would like to them to know about it to get sensitized about it and to celebrate this wonderful life that we have on our wonderful planet Traveling is something I just love to indulge in. It gives so many ideas, inspires, and if I have to select five best places on top of my wish list, I would include the Himalayas, the abode of bliss, especially Sikkim, and also Sangla Valley, which is in Kinnor district. I've written a book. about sangla valley too but i've just not had enough of the place and i would also like to travel to the sundarbans the largest mangrove forest in the world i would like to visit new zealand and see the exotic wildlife there and last but not the least alaska to see the northern lights well 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 what have we got here some parting gifts from the year 2020 This book, Sugar Spice and All Foods Nice, co-authored with Medha Rajadaksha, is all about some fun stories related by a doting grandma to the two energetic twins, Jiffy Two and Simba Lin. The stories are about the onions, potatoes, spices, and all that you find in the kitchen, and there are lots of wonderful. Color illustrations too, like this one. So be sure to enjoy. And here is another one. Let's peep into the insect world, which was released earlier this year as an e-book, but now very soon it's going to be out as a printed version. This book too has lots of colorful cartoons and a lot of amazing. fascinating mind blowing facts about the six legged creepy crawlies and that's not all yet 
one more which was out just today on the last day of 2020 flight of the pink headed ducks and other stories stories about endangered species so do look out for these books and young readers please don't forget you can always borrow a, any kind of storybook from the house of books and tales or if you wish to procure your own copy you may do so by contacting them and placing your order well good luck for the new year and goodbye